You ever get a handwritten letter in the mail today? You're like, what the hell? Has someone been kidnapped? Today, I'm going to recap a 2015 action thriller film called Hitman, Agent 47. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The agent program was started to create genetically enhanced men to use as unstoppable killing machines. An organization known as Syndicate International is seeking out Dr. Litvenko, the man that started the program. However, Syndicate has located a young woman, Keisha Van Dees with ties to Litvenko. Several Syndicate mercenaries track down Keisha's location and head out to find her. They are in pursuit when someone detonates a bomb in the street, taking out one of their vans. The mercenaries and Syndicate doctors try to find out who is responsible. They are cornered by Agent 47. He kills two men before leaving one doctor alive long enough for him to tell 47 where Keisha is. After this, the doctor is killed by a bomb planted by 47. The agent then proceeds to kill every other man in the building. Syndicate's chairman, Leclerc, is informed of the killings at the research facility and demands that he be stopped. 47 gets in contact with his handler, Diana. He has two new targets to take care of. Keisha is desperately looking for a man that she feels she has some connection to. She also doesn't know why she can see or feel things that she can't explain, such as when she senses a woman being attacked by her husband, leading Keisha to hit a police alarm on the street to save the woman. As Keisha continues her pursuit of the mystery man, she is found on the subway by a man who calls himself John Smith. He follows Keisha and approaches her, making it clear he knows where she's going and who she's looking for. They are found and pursued by 47, who shoots at them. Smith takes Keisha away and arrives at an embassy. He fires two shots so that the soldiers in front can apprehend him and Keisha. Keisha is met by Sanders, who asks her what she and Smith were doing, until 47 arrives at the embassy and intentionally gets himself captured after this huge gun, and other guns are found. Sanders interrogates him and brings the gun to the room. 47 notices a tattoo on Sanders' arm for his family. He questions Sanders about them to get a rise out of him before kicking the table up to cause the gun to fire and shoo one of the cufflinks off the table. 47 beats and kills the other two men in the room, then knocks out Sanders after he says he is willing to die for his children and takes one of their uniforms. 47 slips out while Keisha runs and gets Smith out. Smith takes Keisha away to a hotel after another chase where she's shot in the arm by 47. He reveals to Keisha that the man she's looking for is Litvenko, and he is her father. Smith says that he was last seen years earlier with stage 3 cancer. He asks her to tell him anything she can remember about him, right before 47 arrives and shoots Smith repeatedly, then knocks Keisha out and takes her with him. Keisha wakes up in a dark room, all tied up. 47 says he won't kill her, and that he wants to help her find her father. He also tells her that she possesses a similar skill set like his, so she can untie herself. 47 pulls a lever to reveal Keisha is in front of a jet turbine, so she hones in on her skills and frees herself. As 47 and Keisha get a move on, Smith arrives, turning out to possess some sort of super strength and agility, not unlike an agent. Other mercs arrive to kill the two but 47 shoots, most of them, and Keisha causes two more to get sucked into the turbines, allowing the two of them to get away. 47 informs Keisha that her real name means 90, indicating she is a more advanced agent than 47. He is also known of her since they were children as he saw her being taken away from her home. They go by undetected through an airport until they eventually find Levenko. Although he is happy to see his daughter again, he doesn't want her to be around when trouble is lurking which is why he had to abandon her. 47 sees some assassins disguised as civilians and kills them. He takes Keisha and Lipink away as Smith and other syndicate mercs chase them. Smith orders the other villains to trap them in the city. They shoot harpoons at 47's car, trapping him, Keisha and Litvenko in the middle of the city. The mercs descend upon them, but 47 shoots them down. They still manage to take Litvenko with them. Litvenko is brought to the syndicate headquarters where Smith tortures him with a painful serum until he gets Litvenko to tell him how to make an agent. Leclerc tells Smith to stop before he kills Litvenko. Leclerc tries to get answers too, but Litvenko never budges. Meanwhile, 47 pages through the system and informs the villains of his presence, making them think he is in a chopper outside. It is really Keisha who is tied up again and made to fly the chopper into the building. More mayhem ensues 
and the Mercs get killed while Smith and Leclerc run away with Levenko. Smith then realizes that 47 is already in the building. They have a supercharged fight, with Smith almost overpowering 47. He punches through a wall, exposing an electric circuit. 47 ties a garrote around Smith's neck and presses it against the circuit, electrocuting Smith. Leclerc takes Levenko to the roof of the building and escapes on his own personal chopper. Inside, Levenko takes out his inhaler, only for Leclerc to realize too late that it's an explosive. Levenko presses it and destroys himself and Leclerc before Keisha's eyes. 47 then gets a call from Diana to confirm that Leclerc is terminated, but when she asks about Keisha, he throws the phone off the roof. 47 tells Keisha that he needed to find Levenko to put an end to the agent program completely, but also assuring Keisha that Levenko loved her. They turn back to go into the building, but Keisha senses that one more person is there to kill them. The elevator door opens to reveal Agent 48, who looks identical to 47. He says, Diana says hi, before 47 and Keisha shoot him. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy hit the like button, and if you disliked it hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. You should watch the full movie, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more video like this.